from Southwest Florida's news leader. This is Wink News, live at 4. New on Wink News, when it comes to sleep, high-tech products are hitting the market. Yeah, they promise to help you get more rest, but do they actually work? Wink News anchor Therese O'Shea shows us a cool bed to help you catch some Z's. Allison Taylor struggles with sleep, waking up around 2 or 3 every morning. I noticed that I would get really, really hot at night, and... I would wake up kind of sweaty. So she searched for solutions and found a special pillow. But it has special fibers inside that helps keep the temperature consistent um, through the night. From a bed jet that uses moving air to make things cool to a mat that covers your pillow and can serve as an ice pack, there are now all kinds of new products hitting the market that promise to cool you off while sleeping. We really... Um, tend to sleep better when we have a cooler bedroom environment. Dr. Natalie Dodovich is with the National Sleep Foundation. She says the ideal temperature is around 65 degrees Fahrenheit, no matter what the season is. The cool room temperature can help you with falling asleep, but it also can help you to stay asleep. And even if you're not waking up to the point where you realize you're awake, having a, a warm bedroom environment could disrupt your sleep and prevent you from getting the deep restorative sleep that you need. Dr. Donovich says there's not a lot of research on specific products, so it's tough to say what works and what doesn't. But for Allison, she says her cooling pillow worked so well, she's considering a cooling mattress, too. I found that the less sleep that I get, the crankier I am, the more coffee I need, and it's just harder to get through the day when you're running on fumes. Therese O'Shea, Wink News, now. The Sleep Foundation says it's important to also keep your bedroom dark and quiet. For other tips on getting a good night's sleep, you can head to winknews.com.